What's up fools? Welcome back. So today I'm going to share a tip with you for accessing admin shares on Windows 10 workstations. So that's the C drive and D drive from remote devices. So if you're an administrator, this is something that you have always done and are very familiar with. Uh, you're on one machine working and you want to get to another machine's C drive. Um, you can typically do that just by accessing the C dollar sign share. You can see here on screen that uh, I brought a couple of new Windows 10 devices onto the network at home here. And I'm trying to connect to those devices to p poke around. And I'm just, and no matter what I type, I'm getting username or password is incorrect. Uh, so it's just something unique about Windows 10 in that regard that is blocking this from succeeding correctly. Now, I've been, it's been a little while since I had to bring some new devices onto the network. So uh, my other devices are all still working. So clearly I solved this at one point, but I uh, can't quite remember exactly what I did. So I did some digging around and did some comparing of some, of some different devices to uh, see what the differences are. And I think I've isolated the changes that you need to make on Windows 10 to give yourself access to admin shares. So we're going to start out here by just taking a look at what connections are currently established over SMB. So we'll use the net use command and we see that the computer we want to talk to is not in the list currently. If it were, then we'd want to use a net use delete statement to remove that existing connection. So we're going to ping the remote computer to make sure that computer is up and running and we are getting replies. So it's definitely have the IP address correct. We're going to try real quick just to connect to C dollar to see if it is properly configured to allow connections to admin shares. And we get an access as denied message, which tells us no, the computer is not properly configured to allow access to admin shares. So the first thing we're gonna do here is go to my computer, right click on C and select properties, and then click the sharing tab and click the little button that says advanced sharing. Now in here, uh, we're gonna check and then uncheck and click apply, click OK, do not actually share. It's not how that's supposed to work. Next, we're going to go ahead, go to the start menu and type reg edit. Right click on that, run as administrator. And then in here, we want to navigate to the computer, HK local machine, software, Windows, current version, policies, system. Now here you're looking for a specific value, local account token filter policy. You see I've got it, but it's a reg Q word. That's not gonna work, so we need to delete that value. So right click, select delete, click yes. Then here we're gonna add a new 32-bit D word value. Local, local account token filter policy. Then here we wanna change the value from zero to one. Then you're done here, click OK, close the window. And then you may need to reboot this machine to allow this machine to now grant remote access. OK, here we're going to go to Start Menu, Network and Sharing Center. So just type the word sharing. You want to open that up. And then you want to check, click the option on the left hand side. It says Change to Advanced Sharing Settings. And you want to go to File and print sharing under private and check the box, turn on file and print sharing and click save. Now this computer should be granting access to the admin shares. So here you can go back to the terminal on this machine or the remote machine that you want to connect to this machine. And you want to try to go ahead and issue that net use command. Keep in mind uh, the account that makes this connection has got to be a local administrator. He cannot be a standard user account. And we see now that the command is completing successfully. So from here, I can go to the start run and type in backslash backslash IP backslash C dollar. Click OK. And now I will be browsing the C dollar share on the uh, remote machine. So I hope this is helpful to you. We'll talk to you later.